Greetings, lasses and lads. The week that passed burdened us with a pain so grand, and to this day still, the crimson skies of Gotham are weeping in black, and the ashen clouds that hover beside its flaxen moon roam closer to the ground. Is it the mist that's dampening our cheeks, or the droplets of rain that have mingled with our tears? Today, be it a law-abiding citizen or a convicted felon, be it an adored hero or an abhorred villain, be it a resident of the city's most prestigious mansion or the patient of its infamous psychiatric prison, be it Gotham's lowest or its high-ranking finest, today they all share one sentiment in common, grief. Today, Every single square and dim alleyway of the crime-infested city brims with the unechoing whimpering of its downcast inhabitants. Today, Gotham grieves. It grieves the loss of yet another foreparent who helped etch this realm of fantasy upon the hearts and memories of a much fortunate generation. Through an iconic depiction, that came to serve as a paragon for all future imitations. Today, Gotham grieves. For it has lost another legend, one whose impish giggles took after the frenzied laughters of her significant other. The loopy duplet of the black and red cherry pie and her purple berry pudding are now short half a pair, and the remnant beloved is now condemned to sulk in complete solitude. To lament in utter loneliness, in absence of both his cape's playmate and his crazed partner in crime. Hey, my dear Gothamites, today laughters have given place to cries, for Gotham has lost its clown queen of crime. On August 24, 2023, only a day prior to the 14th anniversary of her semi-final performance, Arlene Sorkin, the voice and inspiration source of the fan-favorite character Harley Quinn, rose up the very same ladder previously climbed by the Caped Crusader's most iconic portrayer. And the mad gal joined the bad man at the very heights of heaven where together they could glance down at a world forever indebted to their grand impact. And they stand there up above hand in hand as they nod concurrently at the amazing legacy that they've left us with generously. Now it wouldn't be a loyal service to this monumental figure's memory if we don't take a brief trip back to the glorious 90s and recount the events that led to her becoming the forebearer of one of the entertainment industry's most valuable fictional properties. Although the character of Harley Quinn reached the peak of her popularity and became a pop culture celebrity after the 2016 Suicide Squad movie thanks to the enchanting pageantry of the ever-pretty Margot Robbie and was previously voiced in games like Arkham Knight and City by Tara Strong the Lovely, the fans know fully that the first actor to literally bring the zany loony lady to life was none other than Arlene Sorkin. Most fans are also aware that the character was exclusively created for the highly celebrated 1992 animated series and was not included in any of the graphical literature prior to the show's airing. Though what some fans may not be in the know of is that Arlene Sorkin wasn't merely picked as a proper fit for the role, she was in fact the main real-life source of inspiration behind the character's addition to the lore. Prior to Arlene's casting as the clown jailbird's female companion in crime, she portrayed Calliope Jones on the long-running NBC hit Soap Days of Our Lives. In one fateful episode of the show, she was instructed to clothe herself in the attire of an unfulfilling jester of the court during a dream course, one that coincidentally absorbed the attention of none other than Paul Dini, a writer of Batman the Animated Series and co-creator of none other than her own Mad Majesty. Deanie, in fact, was already pals with Arlene since his past days in the college campus, and that fortunate affiliation, along with his familiarity with her as a person, resulted in a direct inspiration that led to the creation of none other than Harleen Quinzel. 
From the character's bubbly blonde features to her snappy demeanor, wisecracking way of speech, and the Brooklyn accent to a T, everything became a mere mimicry of Arlene. I patterned her after my friend Arlene Sorkin, who wound up doing her voice also. The character was initially intended to be inserted into the fan favorite series as a mere guest baddie for a single episode only, with no further plans to even include her sporadically. But in favor of the extremely positive responses received from both ordinary viewers and show executives, the deranged damsel was decided to become a regular of the cold classic and a proud accomplice of Batman's number one arc nemesis. As a result, the female jokester was rarely absent from the side of her male counterpart in the episodes that were produced afterwards and thus became an inseparable part of Gotham's rogue gallery of criminals, but without any regards to how many different variants of the character make their marks on various forms of media via TV, game, silver screen and whatnot, it must always be recalled that they all emerged from one single talented blonde. Arlene wasn't just a pioneering actress to play the role of Joker's mistress, she was the sole and only reason the character came to existence. She wasn't cast to play a character, she was replicated as the character. She was not just the first ever Harley Quinn, Harley Quinn was the first ever Arlene Sorkin. But the unfortunate passing of one does not necessarily equal the demise of the other. So yes, Gotham grieves. But my dear Gothamites, fill up your aggrieved hearts with glee, for we must rejoice in celebration of Arlene's living legacy. For despite her departure from the realm of the physical, her essence and soul remain unspoiled within the character whose entire creation became a means of her reincarnation. So as long as there keep coming new iterations of the fan-favorite jesting princess of felonies, Arlene keeps on living alongside her. She lives on within the very same mythos she inspired her colleague to establish. And what better way to be immortalized than becoming mythicized? She was never meant to be more than just a one-shot character. Oh, piano! Bye-bye, Betsy! You know what's great about you, Quinn? You really put the fun in view. This has been your vocal host, Netben, and I write to you for my den where I bid my sincerest condolences and present you with this inadequate excuse of a modern take on an elegy. May the soul of the beautiful Arlene Sorkin rest in peace and with ease for her memory remains to be cherished for eternity. Take care.